Hello everyone. From today's video, uh, study from today's video, I am going to start a series uh, about uh, Avada themes, how to create a beautiful website using Avada theme. So, it would be a step by step tutorials, a step by step videos, and uh, after going up through all the videos, I am sure you would you would create a stunning website using Avada theme. So uh, in this video, uh, we will ins install uh, Avada theme. So let's start so, and uh, see how we can install Avada theme in our WordPress. So start, let's come to the uh, WordPress dashboard. Here you can see uh, there are many options. So first of all, we, we would install uh, our theme. So go to the appearance and themes, click themes. So here you can see add new option at the top. So click add new and then upload theme. So here we choose a file. It would be a zip file when you uh, download from the theme forest or Avada, uh, Avada websites. So it would be in zip file. So let's click choose file. and as you can see there are two uh, zip files avada and avada child theme you can use avada or avada child theme so uh, in in this scenario i am going to select avada you can choose avada child theme as well so after choosing file uh, click install now it would take few minutes so after installing uh, there will be some basic uh, things and basic plug installation we will learn in this video as well so it would take uh, one to two minutes so avada is the number one selling wordpress theme uh, in the market for seven plus years avada has a real uh, front end design and edit editing tools for you to create beautiful websites clean modern and multi-purpose design which can be adopted and used for any website as you can see the theme installed successfully so now the theme is installed so we have to activate you can see there are three options here live preview activate or go to theme we would click activate so click activate to activate the avada theme Here you can see the Avada theme is activated. So, as you can see in dashboard, in Avada theme there are many options. We'll go one by one after this. After this, so after installing the theme, what you have to do? You can see the option plugin or add-ons. Click it. There you can see. There are many uh, plugins we have to use, but there are two plugins that are required. They are essential to create uh, in the website in uh, Avada theme. So as you can see, also written required. So it uh, Avada core and Avada builder. These two plugins we have to install. So let's first activate it. It's activated now come to the second one it is avada builder we have to install and activate as well there are many other uh, plugins that uh, we can use the acf pro and layer slider slider revolution we can use but for this we have just two plugins here required so we will install it after theme is installed we have to uh, change or modify few uh, things in our global setting so first of all when you would click options in the Vada theme options uh, you'll see there are many options to use so first of all click colors here we can see global color colors that will be used so let's see click primary colors you can choose any color from this side let's we choose this one 
and a predefined theme skin is we can choose dark but let it be a default color so after these things uh, let's go to the uh, second option that is after colors header option click header so in header option you can select any type of header you you can use in your website so you can choose uh, as per your needs so i would choose the first one and click save changes and then you can see a typography option click typography and here you can choose any type of font family so i have choose uh, for body uh, i have choose arimo arimo and uh, for the heading i have chosen italiano so after choosing this click save changes so there are other options in this global setting we will be used and defined in the in our next videos so after you can set a logo for this click logo here you can see logo alignment where should it be and there are many other settings we can uh, choose so default logo is avada theme so we can use any type of logo as per uh, requirement so let's keep it default and save changes so this was all about installing avada theme and uh, the basic settings we can use in avada theme After installing Avada theme and required plugins, we are set to go. So, uh, first of all, uh, we would create a home page using Avada Builder. So, let's create our first page that is home page. So, for this, you have to go to the pages uh, in dashboard. You can see uh, pages, click all pages. After installing Avada theme and required plugins, we are set to go. So, uh, first of all, uh, we would create a home page using Avada Builder. So, let's create our first page that is home page. So, for this, you have to go to the pages uh, in dashboard. You can see uh, pages, click all pages. Here you can see at uh, the top, add new page. So, click add new. A new page and add title and we would go give it name as home so as you can see at the right hand side in page attributes option go to template and select 100% uh, uh, width after doing this click publish we would publish this page and after this uh, we would create using avada live as you can see it is published now when it is done, click our live. It would uh, redirect it to Avada Builder and would recreate using Avada Builder. Here you can see Avada Builder. There are many options uh, you can use. So I have uh, already uh, uh, taken some time. Uh, to uh, describe the all the options uh, used in Avada Builder. So I will introduce uh, some options. There are there are main options. So as you, as you can see at the top right hand side, here is the exit option. You can exit from the uh, Avada Page Builder and then save whatever you make changes on the page. You can save here and draft or publish what you want to do if you are creating a page would you publish it or want to do make it a draft for the future use and this is a preview when you are making changes or do or adding any any elements so you can preview here and this is a toggle wireframe this is a responsive as uh, uh, you can check your 
preview on um, uh, mobile tablet and uh, desktops so as you can see this is uh, the clear layout you can uh, clear your layout uh, add new preferences history so uh, from the, this option you can check your history and after this library and uh, this is avada uh, volume so first of all as you can see i would click, uh, i would delete this uh, page uh, title bar so if you click this at the left hand side you can see the page title bar it is uh, selected as default click here and click hide as you can see our page title bar it is removed so as you can see to get started add a container container is just like a, a, a column you would add a column and you can use different and many columns in your websites so uh, we will add container column and on that column we'll use our uh, elements so let's get started first of all here you can see the button add container click here you can see there are many options here uh, one column two column three column and four column as well and different uh, column of different sizes you can choose according to your design and need so what we are going to do we are going to use this one two columns so uh, as you can see when you click here there are many options like uh, container options a clone container from this clone container option you can copy the same uh, container with same content uh, <clears throat> you can add another content so copy of this container could be uh, created when you click on this so uh, this is a save container delete you can delete container here and this is a drag and drop option you can drag up and down to this container so when you click this pencil option at the left hand side you can see the settings of the container is displayed you can choose and you can set your settings accordingly here you can see when uh, in general options you there are general settings when you will design you can design your container in column and here is the background you can change your background so we, we would use these all options uh, uh, when you will further proceed to creating our website so first of all we'll add a title as you can see we have added two columns in the column you can see a plus sign is plus sign option you can add elements to this uh, columns you can see when you hover over the plus options you can see the option is add element click here here you can see there are many options uh, you can choose from so we are going to choose title so for this when you will come in search elements option just write title and you can see the title is there click title and you can give any title so i will use welcome to digital services so here in the design tab you can design your uh, title so i would uh, uh align it at center font size 70 pixels family italianium okay and after that line height one and letter spacing one at the very bottom uh, you have to choose if you don't want to lines within the uh, titles you can go and check none so our one uh, title bar is added we will text uh, will add text uh, element um, below this title bar for this as you can see when you click on the front of the title you can see add element below this option click here as you can see uh, write text there is a text block click here text uh, blog is added now we are going to welcome to digital service you can uh, use any type of text so i'm going to use grow business 
8000 and let's make it center in design tab on side let's keep it 25 and line height 1 and letter spacing 1 okay okay that's done so uh, our uh, title and text bar is added now we would add a image here and when you search image you can see there are different uh, uh, image options you can use so we'll just uh, add a simple image click here and i have already chosen so as you can see our uh, hero section is almost created we have added title text bar and um, an image at the uh, one column now add button we would add button uh, after this text so as you can see the plus option here click plus option and here you can see the button is placed in the first row the click button so when you hover over the button you can see a pencil option so click pencil options and let's modify the button according to our needs and design so <clears throat> in button text uh, let's add text grow now grow now and uh, in the design tab button style we would choose custom and provide color uh, for website so i have chosen yellow color for this website you can choose any type of your choice so you both colors and this is uh, the colors when someone hover over button what color should be but let keep, let's keep it uh, yellow and uh, button text let's keep it uh, white i would use white for this and you can choose uh, button style it should be flat 3d but let's keep it default here you can uh, increase or decrease button border size so you can choose but i would keep it as default but butter radius option so you can choose any type when you increase the radius it would be rounded so let's give it 20 it should be round uh, 15 and you can give button border color here but i would keep it uh, default you can choose any type button border hover color when someone hover it what should be the color of the button border you can choose from here and the button size let's uh, there are four options so i would choose extra large and you can give margin by padding from this side and here you can see you can also add logo with the button so i would choose this option and i can position what should be the icon position it should be right hand side or at the left hand side but i would keep it left because left it looks good at left side and the you can also choose icon divider between the icon and the text so if we click yes here you can see the divider so let's keep it at divider here so one more thing when you come here button size okay all is okay In general setting, extra large and design. So when you would give in, go in general setting, there are many options you can use, but we would align our button at the center. So in alignment, click center. Here it goes. It's at the center. So click save. When it is saved we would prove 
preview this page here we can see the our hero section is ready to go and just little bit more modification so let's add another uh, container so add another so here you can see click add container and let's choose the one column click add element now here we would use a separator there are two type of separator here just one separator it will be just simple align and a section separator we are going to use a section separator here because it provides many designs of separator so section separator click section separator here you can see there are many styles we can use from is first is triangle then the big triangle so first of all let's uh, change its color in the design tab the background color so let's keep it yellow now you can see easily let's come to the general tab and uh, you can use any like uh, curved style like clouds and uh, let's use waves so i would use wave tabs here so horizontal position you can uh, change accordingly but let's keep it horizontal and so we will take uh, wave a little bit upside so let's give it margin 40 minus 40 70 or we can give it 80% after doing this click save let's preview it so here you can see our first section is completed you can see a great uh, hero section is built now after adding a separator below the hero section now uh, we are going to add another section so let's proceed so first of all add uh, another uh, container add container here we have to choose one column click add element so let's add title here Add container and add it again. Add container and one section. Click here and title. Title. Let's add title or oh, let's title is added. Now uh, let's modify. You can add any content, but in this video, I'm just using as a demo content so you can in type of content of your uh, choice and need. So this website is going to tell you so let's modify it at the right uh, left hand side click design and alignment center as you can see uh, at the both end at the right hand side and the left hand side of the text you can see two simple lines two double lines are there so these by, these are by default with the title section in the avatar theme so let's remove remove it first come to the bottom of the design tab here you can see a separator click here and when you come down choose none here you can see the both lines are removed click save and now uh, add any other element so now we are going to add another separator this time a simple line so by default two simple and straight lines uh, are there so let's change its style click in a style uh, choose a single border solid so as you can see there, there is a single border line in design tab here you can define the separator width what should be the width of so let's keep it 
70 pixels you can see and uh, its alignment is center you can choose left here or right but we will keep it as center here the border uh, size you can size of this the separator you can in increase or decrease accordingly yeah here you can see it's increasing but we, we will take it at three pixels and here same uh, separator color so I'm using yellow color so after this uh, we would wait another section let's click add element and now this time we are going to use text so I have to save time I have already uh, taken the content for this website to save time you can uh, use your own so here I am adding click paste when double click on this text area you can see a top up is appearing so you can modify the text from here also let's uh, make text alignment to the center and in the design tab uh, let's keep the 20 pixel as font size so you can see uh, another text uh, uh, is added after the uh, title section click save let's preview here you can see a little bit uh, top margin is required so let's add a top margin click the column pencil icon in design tab margin let's keep it 50 and save let's see again oh it's okay now I'm going to the page builder again so now this time we are going to add another uh, container click add container this time we are going to use two sections one for the image and another one for the text let's choose the two columns in this column we are going to add an image so add element Come to the image here is the image and add image from here uh, let's there are many images i have already taken so we'll use it let's choose this one click insert you can see the image so here we are going to add so you can choose any style but here we are going to use and display our text our services in the uh, checklist so click add element here you can see in the second row a checklist is there click checklist now we would add content in checklist so how we can how we can edit first of all in checklist in general tab you can see uh, there is a, a tick mark and green color let's uh, modify it and use design as our choice so let's uh, use this one arrow signs double arrow signs and when you come down here we can choose ch checklist icon color let's keep it the white color checklist icon circle yes or no but you can uh, keep it as default checklist icon circle color so We will use yellow color that is for our website as you can see item uh, size you can increase or decrease so let's keep it uh, 20 pixel 15 let's keep it 20 pixel you can use divided lines here also but uh, I think without line is better so after doing this here now you can add content from here so uh, I'll add few lines here you can also double click here and paste here the services and after doing this backside and here you can see add list item here 
and uh, you can add from this click add list list will be added so now just you need to add content accordingly so i will go to the four content checklist so click here it specializes in copywriting let's add content and i'll choose another web development and SEO so for now we are uh, adding just four uh, uh, items list items so when we are done click save and then let's have a preview let's add a little bit of uh, margin Top margin click design and 30 let's save or you can give also a background color to this checklist so let's say smart it color Save and still margin is required. Sixty. Okay, now it's look good. Margin click save. So as you can see, our sector, uh, our this section is completed. The checklist uh, section looks uh, good but still we need to add a little bit uh, padding so go back to the builder so you have to click the column section and in the padding section let's apply 15 the top 15 to the right 15 to the bottom and to the left so now check the changes now you can see it's look more better than before 
So you can see we are proceeding step by step. So come back to the Wada page builder. So now uh, we are going to add another container. So click here, add container. So now uh, we are going to use another design for the container. So let's use this one two by three and one by three, two columns. So in this section, we are going to use title and in this section, we'll use an image. So let's first use a, a title here. Search for title, click here, the title is added. So make it center. And as I have already told you that there is a two lines set by default to the left and right hand side of this title bar so first of all we have to remove it come to the separator and choose none there we go none so here uh, just add content so let's change the text so i have already So how do you, uh, I, I'll uh, upload all this content in the description of the video. You can choose uh, and use your in your websites. So here, how do you fit into this? So let's come to the this section, add element. In this section, we are going to add an image. Click here and I would add let me add this one click and you can see it's look good but we need a little bit uh, adding margin so come this section and come down let's add 20 40 margin let's keep it 40 now for now and uh, we would modify Again, if you could click save. As you can see, it's look more beautiful. So a little bit margin to the container. Click here and let's margin, let's keep it 50. 40 let's check it good so also add padding at the top right bottom and left it's look good after adding this let's add another container so click here we can also add container here and nested container but uh, as we are going step by step this is the basic so i'm not going to these advanced things so so that you can learn easily now uh, we, we would add another container so click container add container so uh, now we would choose another design so let's choose this one two by three R and one by three. So in the first column, uh, we are going to use an image. So click here, add an element, choose an image. So have to, um, we are going to upload, upload an image. So let's choose this one. Here you can see the image is added. Now uh, in this uh, column, um, we would add our content. Click, so let's for, go for the title. So add your content here. So I have already chosen content. You can choose yourself. So, let's choose 30 uh, make it 40 
and uh, 35 is good let's take in preview it's look good let's make it 40 let's see how 40 looks like and it's good so <clears throat> After doing this, uh, we'll add another section here. Add separator. Click here and let's change separator style. Single line and in the design tab, separator width 70 and in alignment, choose left and border uh, three pixels and separator color we would just use yellow okay now let's see it in preview it's look good and after that we'll add padding and other things so after this we are going to add another text element so search for text click text block and add your content here so i'll copy here and paste over you can double click here and paste over here as well so here you can see text is added but i would reduce it let's let's uh, reduce it here we go let's check in preview it's look good just remove one line need content let's change it a little bit 16 uh, font size and uh, letter spacing one okay it's good a little bit margin is needed and let's add a little bit margin in separator click separator in design tab and let's add margin to the bottom 50 okay looks good it's look good so as you can see a little bit uh, we need to add a little bit in margin in this section as well click option and uh, let's minus 20 or let's minus 40 okay now you can see it looks more good so after doing this let's add another section let's proceed so I would add another section here click this one and add a column one column so I will choose a separator section separator here click section separator and uh, let's choose wave wave and uh, in design tab let's make it minus 60 increase the margin 90 or uh, we can choose 110 minus 110 
just increasing a little bit minus 130 check it now okay let's look good click save and let's see preview how it looks like So you can uh, check responsive of its website. So click mobile. Let's see how it views on mobile. You can see it's look good. And in mobile view, okay, it's good in mobile. There is a little bit. It's changing in mobile. Options. Let's decrease its margin and come to margin. We need ninety. Ninety. Now it's look good. And in the let's keep it at the center. Edit it. So margin is left hundred part it's two hundred. Now it's look good on mobile view as well. So you can see the website is responsive and it's good on mobile view as well. So click save and again come to the desktop view so also a uh, separator should be removed so in preview we can see uh, the lines to the both sides of this title so let's remove it in design come down and separator it's none so i think it's in this section Let's check whether we have removed or not. Both. We have not removed the lines, default lines from this section, from this title as well. Let's remove it. Click done. Save. So after this, uh, we would add a call to action button. So for the discovery call, so let's add another section. So click add a container. And for this, we are going to use the one column. And uh, to save time, you can clone any uh, element or any container and you can drag here in this. So, we are going to add head title, but to save time, we can clone, clone a title above and can drag it in this section. So let's see how we can do it. So this is a title. We just need to clone it. Click clone element. You can see it is copied. So just here you can see the drag element options. Click here and drag this element into this. As you can see, now just change your text also we are going to uh, clone the separator as well so just clone this and the same way drag here and after this you can see so as you can see uh, Here we, we will change content here. So 
still confused. Let's change its alignment and okay. So it's still confused. We'll add text block here. Add text block, click text. L will still confused and will get text. Let's have a discovery call with our experts. So what will click here? We'll make it center aligned and in design tab we'll make it 20. Okay, let's look good and letter spacing one okay let's preview it okay it's neat margin and padding setting so i'll do it later so after this we'll add a button here so we can clone this button as well let's click here and clone element now just drag this one and put it here and delete this one you can save a lot of time by cloning an element if you are using the same element again and again you can clone and use it and just edit its text so click here and i'll just take change of this only. click here okay let's so a little bit now change uh, a little bit top padding will apply top padding to this section click here and in the design uh, you can set margin 50 okay let's preview again okay Will ten okay okay now you can see yeah you can use this uh, thing as well after this we are going to add a carousel image carousel so uh, in this using this section you can uh, show to whom you have worked and uh, uh, and also other things uh, related to your uh, company so let's edit. We'll add, add a new container. Click here for this, and uh, yeah, we can use also uh, clone this uh, container as well. So if you click on this clone container, here you can see. Just remove this one and put your content like. Okay, that's great. Add another criteria we have. And okay, it saved a lot of time by cloning this. So after this, uh, let's add another container. Uh, and we'll add image browser here at the left hand side you can uh, image uh, add image and items of your uh, design so by as you can see add image under this item setting click the pencil icon to edit this so you know, will we will add images here so let's uh, start from this I have already taken these images so to save time so as you can see from this we can add images or clone this one so i'll add images here one two three four five so let's add one by one 
add image in, in the carousel. Come back, edit item, add image. So for so to save time, I have already downloaded these things. Click this one, add image. Go back and again uh, click this one, add image. So add another one. So as you can see, the carousel is made. I can use this one to make it forward or backward. And let's add other images quickly to save time. Again, click here, add image. Click here. Image here and let's have a last image. So click here, choose image. And here we go. So this section is also completed as you can see. So <clears throat> click a pencil button at the container option. Click here and in background, let's change its background as well. Let's preview how it looks like. So as you can see, just look good. So let's add a little bit padding. Uh, 10. Twenty. Let's see. And uh, minus twenty. If we put at the bottom, let's look. Okay. So let's add padding to all the right, bottom, and left. It's fifteen. 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 So let's look. Okay, it's look good now. So another section is added as well. So let's add, add a little, little bit margin in this section. 50 margin is there and I'll do it. change it to 60. Click save. And there you can see another section is added as well. So as you can see, we have added different uh, section in this uh, home page you can uh, design according to your needs according to your design as well so just keep around and uh, make changes to know about uh, about the themes so we can see an stunning website is built so it was all about uh, our home page we have created our home page now uh, i think you are all able to create another page like about us services page and the contact pages and other pages uh, of your uh, that you need so i think uh, this was all about the water themes so after going all these videos you are able now to create a, a stunning website and professional web website with avada theme so Go around and use Avada theme in different options to make you expert uh, in Avada themes. Hope you, you have enjoyed all these videos and keep uh, watching my YouTube channel for uh, updated videos. Thank you very much.